Greetings, spacefarers. This is Petrol Rabbit or Purple Rabbit, whichever floats your boat. So I've loaded into a older game because I want to talk about conversion rate of um, prisoners. And there's many ways of uh, going about this. Uh, there's no right or wrong way, I do, besides the things and the methods I'm going to show you are not even done to be the most efficient in each of their you know, way they address it, but um, they're rather a way of, of uh, highlighting how the mechanics work to help them out with you guys. And you can use all of these depending on what kind of ship you have, or what you want to obtain, or how you are being at the moment, because all of these factors can uh, make a difference on uh, which approach you decide for. Now, don't bother about the blood stains everywhere. I've turned auto um, auto clean off for RP reasons. The method I'm using currently and that you're seeing is um, is mostly evolving. Is one of the most efficient ways I've found to recruit, and um, and I'll explain why. Uh, and the other methods you'll see sh will show techniques and things and how to you know capitalize on different uh, mechanics or ways of approaching these mechanics. But this is generally the most efficient um, way of playing it on an on a, on a ship that you don't want to have to modify continuously or have to um, adapt specifically every time you have prisoners or even have to waste space for prisoners when you don't have them because you can have them, you can not have them you can, once you've finished, reach the number you want you might not want a prisoner anymore then you might change your mind and you want, you know, all of that so to address that, um, the, a, a good prisoner area should be um, able to be uh, given back to the crew at any moment uh, to be used so it's not specific and um, so that obviously implies that the comfort and the levels of comfort are, are equal to that of the crew and um, there's other things to it but uh, you want them to mingle with the crew to be in, in the same areas as the crew and you want the crew to to not have to go to areas where the prisoners are specifically to talk to them to recruit them like they should be um, mingling in the same zones for other reasons which would make the recruitment uh, uh, it, it will recruit basically from the closest option possible when the time comes so if somebody's very close by and doesn't have a task at hand so is free that that's the person that's going to be called to talk and do the recruitment uh, generally so for example here this is um, I put the sleeping areas there's two of these beds and I can change this like sometimes I can add if there's more prisoners I can get them oh that's too much I can um, there you go I can add all these areas um, accordingly there's more beds I could give them all to them um, or I can take them away basically and the kitchen above here is prisoner specific but the alga here is not so there's reason for other people to go there and here this is a kitchen for the uh, main crew and that's an alga dispenser for the prisoners and this area has a very high comfort or you can see it it doesn't actually 39 got other stuff here oxygen generator it needs a lot so, um, and yeah, I have a lot of crew, so I had to forego uh, comfort. But um, there's there's sufficient comfort to have positive comfort, 38, to have positive interactions and to get people to come and uh, gather here, both crew and prisoners. And this will create that, on one hand, positive socialization so if we go on one of these prisoners this guy has got an 8.7 percent conversion chance and uh which is quite high so and if we go and look at his relationships he's got uh, Roddick one and Jim Florian four he's got minus seven with Damien but there's three with Mike Frisbee five which is another prisoner so he's developing at best mostly positive relations um, if you 
do this in a very uncomfortable zone uh, and your prisoners are stressed and so is your crew, they will have a lot of fights. They already have fights when they fail recruitment, but yeah. Um, so having all this you know, uh, comfort around will help the, the recruitment and we'll go into it in depth. But generally speaking, this, this approach of, uh, of mixing it with whatever the crew is doing so they, they, they are basically part of the crew until they are recruited will yield you the... Uh, not the best, but a, a good conversion rate without having to cost you too much um, to, in terms of specific uh, catering and building towards prisoners. So having a lot of numbers in play, we can see generically the behavior in a more consistent and uh, frequent manner. And we can, having observed it like that, we can tell more of what's happening and uh, make some deductions or try to improve our chances. So let's go into this prison ship's designed or thought to have as many recruitment dice rolls as possible every turn. And I'm not looking into uh, increase the chances of a higher roll, I'm just trying to increase the chances of a roll. So uh, if you look at each individual prisoner and their statistics and especially their chance to convert or not, if you haven't clicked any option yet, you basically recruit or enslave, it's going to tell you his chance or her chance of conversion at the moment and how long he's been in, in your ship. So this guy, Arnold Rimmer, has been imprisoned 61 days and has a chance to convert of 2.5, which is very low, as you can deduce from the conditions in this. Uh, can go up to 13, I think, or something. Um, I've had it to 10. I've heard others have it higher. So once you click the button, it should also tell you the chance to rebel, which is 8.1. Now, I've mentioned this, and the way this happens is basically um, a prisoner will get asked uh, once per turn by one of your crew to, to join, and they can refuse, accept, or uh, uh, rebel. Now, as you can, so it's a roll dice basically, right? We're, we're rolling a dice 1 to 100. And uh, here we have a 2.5% chance on, of conversion and the 8.1 chance of rebellion. And the remaining is nothing. So you'll get a message and we'll show it if nothing happens, like recruitment uh, refused or something. Uh, we'll get to that. But uh, if, if they rebel, then the crew who ask them will have to engage in a fight with them. So if you're. If your message, if your log on the top right is, is giving you a lot of black eyes, uh, it might be because they are getting punched by the prisoners they're trying to recruit once per turn. Um, keep that in mind. So ideally, there's things you can do to try and improve uh, the chances of a possible favorable interaction by socializing more and not directly on the numbers, but because but if you click on a prisoner, you will see that the chance to convert fluctuates at uh, an immediate basis. So it can jump from 3.8 to 4. And this depends on comfort levels and stress levels as well. But let's keep it to comfort. So if your prisoner is walking in, in some place and he gets asked to convert in a very uncomfortable area, his conversion chance will be will drop to a lower rate than if he were in a happy area. By the same meter, if the crew member recruiting him is socializing favorably with him, then his chance should momentarily increase uh, during that interaction, so helping you a little. However, uh, since uh, the chances are against you, as in there's most of the time a 90% chance regardless of what you do, that the recruitment is ref is refused. There is, of course, just a 5% chance that it goes into a fist fight, but it's generically more common at the start for the chance to rebel to be higher. You have to convert them. You start at like 0%, 0.1%. And if you click recruitment in that moment, let's try and find a prisoner who is at zero recruitment in this moment. This guy is at 0.2 and he hasn't been recruited because he's been here 13 hours, so he's fresh. Let's slow down the speed. And if I recruit him now, his chance to convert is 
So the rebellion chance is higher when the conversion chance is lower and vice versa. But the, the, the sooner you do it and the less chance you will have had to increase that statistic, which starts slow and you can't do anything about because they're not your faction, they don't like you. There's things in the game like besides that, like uh, Stockholm Syndrome, by the way. So the, this, this at the beginning, the, the odds are even more against you and there's a higher chance of rebellion than there is generically a chance of conversion. You can change this and you can make a much prettier prison than mine and put them in humane conditions, well, you know, whatever you want. But still, if you try to convert at the beginning, there's more chances of it going badly than going properly. What that means for your game is that I'm making this very long, but there's there's more chances of, of rebellion, generically speaking. You might actually prefer, in those cases, crew members that aren't particularly aggressive, but at least have a high recovery statistic or statistics that uh, help them in surviving a fight, you know. Uh, so recovery is, is something, for example, that you'd want in that case. Because if so, having you know, like somebody who's uh, has the wimp trade and is uh, has a very bad recovery statistic, is is going to work against them if they, if they're if you're counting on them to be a recruiter. Now, how can you uh, decide who is a recruiter? You don't have a specific action in the game to tell uh, who has to be recruiting. But if you do a prison ship or you can, you know, you have two ships and you put the prisoners on one ship, you can somehow control which are the crew members that mingle with the prisoners. And those will be the ones that will be doing the recruiting. This will generically happen at the beginning of the turn, but uh, it depends on when the crew is uh, free, for example. So there are sometimes some turns where you, they'll never go and ask them if they're too busy doing other things. When they're always busy, they never have a free moment and jump from job to job. They'll never find a moment to go and talk to the crew and do that recruitment. So if you're noticing that you're not getting a lot of recruitment messages, even the recruitment resisted, then that might be a solution to that problem. Right now is the game I've saved is basically before a recruitment spree. And what you can do is you can go back to that same game uh, and retry this thing until you get it right. So if I do this a couple of times and there should be right now I think a recruitment message. There you go. Recruitment resisted, recruitment resisted. Redo that and I'll show you that at a slower speed. So here we have some prisoners with uh, different recruitment chances. They're around 4%. Nobody's really higher than 4%. So this crew member is coming in and they're probably going to talk to one of them. There you go. Resisted recruitment, and there should be another one. So this guy is the guy who's being recruited, I throttle. 1.9 conversion chance, 9.3 rebellion chance, and it's the second time round. You've seen we've had uh, a negative result, neither conversion, neither rebellion, both these times. Did somebody else get asked already? Did we miss it? Or it's resisted recruitment, Remy got asked. So now we can check if it's still Remy and the other guy, and uh, no, what was his name? Aethril, that's a difficult name. Aethril converted. They both have, I think, uh, yeah, 1.9 each and 10 points chance to rebel. But We've had neither on two tries or four dice rolls. I also wanted to check if it's the same two guys being recruited, Remy and Athera, guy. So let's start a bit faster and then slow down maybe. Resisted recruitment, I think that was Remy. Well, Athera is there, there as well. You have to feed them, you have to make them sleep, and you oxygen, of course, and they need toilets. So that's the general conditions for them to at least be comfortable enough to have a growing chance of conversion. But a problem we're having here is that the crew isn't specifically here a lot. And aside from other factors, the, the, the actual recruitment is, is taking the crew away from other duties. So the idea here is I, I made this area of just for the prisoners, but 
I wanted them to mingle as much as possible with the crew and to be in areas where the crew could just ask them while, you know, oh, I stopped doing something. I just have to do two steps and then I to do that other thing and then I can go back to doing other stuff again. Also, the fact that they're engaging in socialization uh, with the crew also helps and it also helps the, their their fluctuating values of conversion because from a good from happiness and comfort they are happier and they have a higher conversion rate etc so if you engage them in a moment where they're actually receiving a higher bigger buffs for all those things allow me the term um, the chance increases during that moment of the conversion right they also start having relationships if you go under your each of your crew or even the prisoners everybody has uh, a number for relationships with other people on, on on the crew based on who they interacted to and what kind of interactions they've had. So if you make them interact in an area which is um, with a high degree of comfort, they will have a tendency to socialize more uh, positively. They, they can socialize negatively. For example, if there's so much queue uh, to the kitchen and they're starving, they can have fist fights and uh, so anyways but so if the conditions on the opposite s spectrum are very good during that moment the statistics are going to keep rising so let's go into the comfort map for this area where all these jukeboxes and arcades are are providing comfort bonuses to this area for my crew and everything else so since my prisoners have a walking path there they can find themselves often chatting with the crew and while they're chatting they're receiving buffs for socialization and comfort and other things and this makes it more uh you know more success it gives you more chances to success and having it close by to one of these areas prevents your crew from having to specifically go and do that in another place for, as we've said so these are some of the ways that you can interact with these mechanics to improve your chances of conversion. If you've treated your prisoner well and enough time has passed, they can have up to 10% conversion chance and zero rebellion chance, but still you are going to have a 90% chance of a negative roll, which is a lot higher. One out of 10 is a lot lower. Uh, so having more prisoners to have more dice rolls is generically more beneficial than going through all the hassle of getting them to 10 percent uh, but you can there's i mean uh, it depends on end goals how much you want to impact on the ship how much you can spare space for your ship what you're trying to get at that moment so don't take this way of you know like big numbers as the one way of recruiting prisoners it depends where you're in the game as a different factors and there's different ways of achieving it so you can use techniques that are more tooled towards what you are doing or what your condition is at the moment use this data this behavior to your advantage so that whatever kind of ship you have you can have something that impacts your ship uh in as less as possible basically anyway good luck hope you uh have a good day enjoy your game bye with brana with nini